Okay, this this is one of my favorite favorite parts of of, of Moodle. So prepare to be totally excited. Uh, this is Dan Trockman, and uh, um, this is a version of my um, environmental uh, science course that we have adapted for a little bit of um, um, demonstration. So you'll see a lot of things on this page that that you may or may not have. Uh, on your own, but but bear with me. What I want to do today is show you how to create an assignment that you will then expect students to create um, a document of some sort and upload it uh, to Moodle. Uh, in the next tutorial, uh, you'll see a student uh, submit that assignment and provide feedback. Uh, there are many ways to uh, submit different types of things on Moodle, and this is just simply uh, perhaps the most the most straightforward. So I've taught students how to use spreadsheets. Um, I've taught students something about being able to, to learn how to calculate um, how much energy is used by a light bulb and what the cost is of that light bulb over time. Now what I'm going to have them do is collect information in their own home of what light bulbs are used, uh, how often they're on, how many they have of that type, and then to create what-if scenarios um, to determine um, what it would be like if they revolutionized the type of bulb used in their home and how much money they would save over time. Uh, this is a, not only a really a, applicable assignment, but it's, it's, a, it's a good one to submit electronically. Um, so in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn editing on. One of the lovely parts about um, having students submit electronically is thus uh, it puts into their Moodle calendar this one over here, um, it will it will show that there is an assignment due, and it'll prompt the student saying, "Hey, there's an assignment due out there. It's due on this day. Make sure you get that in." So I've just turned editing on um, here under topic seven, which is energy use and the future. You can see that we've uh, gone over a few things, um, and I'm going to have them turn in a light bulb tracking worksheet that's going to give them um, something to do and something to evaluate. So in this case, I need to go all the way down to the bottom of this unit and click on Add an Activity or Resource. And this activity or resource, alphabetically, it ends up here at the beginning of Activities as Assignment. In the old Moodle, if you're used to doing that, you had an opportunity to do different types of assignments, but they were named different things. They might have been named um, Turn in an Assignment or Do an Offline Assignment or Nano Gong. Now they're all under one hat, Assignment. When I click Add, right away you'll see that that's true. Assignment name. I always try to give an assignment a name so students know not only what the assignment is, but at the end of it what they're expected to do with it. So in this case, it's going to be light bulb tracking um, spread sheet turn in here. What is it? It's a light bulb tracking spreadsheet. What are they supposed to do with it? Turn it in here. This is where you actually provide um, directions. I'm not going to go into the deep directions, uh, but as prescribed in class, please audit your household for lighting as we described and began turn in here at the date indicated. Once again I've given a little bit of um, visual information and I've um, fixed my spelling. Okay, thank you Google. Submission. So today is July 23rd. This is going to be due on July um, 25th. I usually try to give them two days to get that thing done. Cutoff date. So this is this is interesting. Um, you by enabling a cutoff date, which is a little bit different than turn in late. This says when it's due. This tells them when it's due. Um, if you will not accept it after a certain time, that's the only time that it has to be in. We're doing some major work on it beginning that day. You can make the cutoff date and the date due at the same time. At that time, not only does it say it's late, it simply won't let them upload it. So that, that's how that's used. Um, submission types. 
this is where things are different than the old Moodle if you're used to that. In this case, it's a file submission, and it's a file submission only. Um, the other options, if you want to have them actually type online, which is this one here, online text, um, they type online and they leave it. Um, do you want them to be able to um, make comments about the file? Do you, do you want some sort of a dialogue going on um, during that? Why not? Why not leave that as an option? Poodle um, is uh, a new uh, feature that we have. Poodle is uh, anything from a voice recorder to uh, submitting a video, a whiteboard, or a picture. Um, if you want to have them prove that they are doing some sort of work and you want it, you want it visually. Um, in this case, I picked file submission, so these things down here are important. If uh, you wanted to have them submit a spreadsheet, but also um, to uh, write about it, um, perhaps you would pick more than one thing and you would have multiple things that are uploaded. In this case, I only want to deal with the one spreadsheet um, one time, and I have actually a different time that they um, turn it in for final work. Um, I've also done this using Google Docs, and that's another way to do this sort of thing, but this provides some interesting feedback options. Um, what's the size? Depending on what you have set in your course, uh, you can restrict that. So if uh, you want to set some sort of limits to a small file, um, you can always make it smaller than your upload limit on your page. If you have upload issues, uh, make sure that you put in a support request for that right away. Feedback types. Uh, there's feedback comments. Um, this is another type of going backs and forth, and we can look at that. Um, those are important. If you, if you want to look up these other ones, I'll, I'll let you explore that. Of course, as we've shown before, you can always click on something and it can give you um, information. This is you know, developed in New Zealand. Um, and as a matter of fact, assignment was developed initially by um, Open University. So you see a lot of the British marking um, information in there. Um, Let's say that you have mul you are collecting multiple files over a multiple time over multiple period of time, and uh, you tell students you want them to begin on it at a certain day, but you want them to tell you exactly when it is time for you to begin feedback. That's what this um, this response button is for. Um, I usually have no on that, but if if you have a different way to um, collect assignments than than I do, there are many options here for you to explore. Notifications. Um, if you are going to have students to ask you to supply when things are in, yes. And you want it to send you an email when it's there, um, you can do that. If you have left the above as uh, um, due on a certain day but a different cutoff date, you can have um, graders be notified if something is turned in after the period for which things were due. Finally, uh, what is the grade? If I do simple direct grading, in other words, it's going to be turned in one time, and I'm not going to be using um, a rubric, um, I can say that it's uh, just worth a certain amount of points, and, and that, that's a, a fairly typical way for um, things to be done. You can also set up rubrics, and you can uh, read about that online as things get uh, more complex. Uh, finally, um, things about restricting access and common module settings. Um, these are things that you may have seen before in Moodle. You can read about those. Uh, restricting settings is interesting. Uh, one thing you can do here is you can say um, this assignment can be turned in after a different assignment is turned in, and that's what these uh, grading conditions are. So let's say they had to do uh, the the, um, some light bulb data ahead of time and they had to have scored at least 95 percent let's say you're going for mastery and, and and that's your cutoff that they can have up to five percent of an error before they can even begin this assignment um, that's what that would be there so uh, there's some pretty cool um, stuff that you can begin to set up um, as, as you wish so I'm going to save this and I'm going to display it so now this is what my assignment is if students got into it hmm some sort of boo-boo. What did we do here? Why won't it let me? Okay, I found my error. Uh, one thing I had done was to restrict access, and I have to make sure that 
uh, both of these are blank. Uh, grade conditions are none and must be less than blank and percent less than blank. And now it, it let me continue. So I can save and I can display my assignment. Uh, so here's my assignment. And you can see that uh, there's one participant in the class, but he will soon um, do the assignment. Um, nothing's been turned in. There's no drafts. Uh, there's one day and 23 hours in which to complete that assignment. Um, so we're, we're good to go. Um, that's what an assignment looks like when you're going to have something, someone turn it in. Um, and there's been no, no attempts. Um, so I'm going to come back to you in the next tutorial as a student, um, submit it, and then uh, back as a teacher and grade it. We'll see you then.